for the commencement of the program. Tracker soft six. Downgraded already since earlier this morning. The red light appearing for the Mrs. Max plate. The two-year-old stand well. Off and racing, ain't no other man. Written exceed left on equal terms over Rommel's command. And yes, man is going to push up just behind those. Probity also squeezing right up on the inside of that group. After a length and a half behind them, Gidget the midget. Augusta Red settling out the back and towards the tail is Crown Princess. They leave the back onto the far corner they travel. It's the favourite, ain't no other man, that holds the lead by a half a length over Written exceed. Over on the inside, travelling third, Probity. Rommel's command is parked out there deep. In behind them came Yes Man, who's back travelling fifth. A length and a half away behind those at the 550 Augusta Red. Then came Gidget the Midget. Crown Princess is back last. Nearing the turn, 450 left to go. Ain't no other man straightens up in front. Gets about three quarters. Written exceed being felt for by Pike. Back on the inside, Probity is trying to work clear. They've got the others covered at the moment. Rommel's command Yes Man had dropped off. Ain't no other man dashes away at the 200 Ain't no other man shot about two and a half in front of Probity. Daylight back to Written Exceed and the others, but it's all ain't no other man. Ain't no other man too good. Probity keeps coming. Ain't no other man got very tired late. Only just scrambled in from Probity who dived at it in the shadows of the post. But they were eight lengths clear from Gidget the Midget and also Rommel's command in a photo for third. Behind those Written Exceed, it gave naught back their crown princess Augusta Red and Yes Man last in. Ain't no other man, written by Lactar Romilly. Probity really picking up late. Ain't no other man had to be stoked right up in the last couple of bounds. Probity was trying to cut the margin down, but it has held on. Ain't no other man by about a long neck to Probity, and it was an absolute day back there to third. And that was resting between Gidget the Midget Rommel's command together. They really made heavy weather of it back there in the field, those in the beaten brigade. Ain't no other man by Gingerbread Man from There's None So Sassy for Wally Daly. Making it three wins now from six outings. Trained by Sean and Jake Casey. Lactar Romilly aboard. Jumped quickly, held the front. Accelerated sweetly coming off the turn. Got that margin on them, but Probity did stick to its task very well. In fact, it got within a head at the finish. It certainly closed the margin down. It was ahead and then nine and three quarter lengths back to third, didn't they? Come home at intervals there. 112.76 is the time and 35.93. First use of that soft six track there today. Ain't no other man now makes it win number three. Second placing to Probity, who's by demerit from O'Katie and O'Reilly Mayor. For Donnell Pierce, DL and Jay Brown, trained by Dan and Ben Pierce. Joe has a party there in the saddle. And uh, third placing. Just checking third. Just checking third after the photo. Judge is coming through. My apologies. Eight. Eight. Gidget the midget. And Rommel's command fourth. OK, so uh, those are the details here after the running of the opening event for the day. Ain't no other man first, Probity second, Gidget the midget third, Rommel's command. Good run too, albeit beaten a long, long way, but was caught off the course right from the word go as Lactar comes back in. He continues his fine form in the saddle. Race number two this afternoon is the running of the free entry to Belmont Park handicap. There are no changes to come out of the next event of the day. Let's head downstairs into the winner's enclosure. A rain-soaked winner's enclosure with Britt Taylor. Yes, puddles everywhere down here in the enclosure. Darren, I have Sean Casey here and no rain will dampen his parade because very happy man with Ain't No Other Man saluting. All the rain about Sean, I suppose you never know with these youngsters until they've actually been on it. But given that he was a last start 1,400 metre winner, what was the gut feeling for you with today and today's conditions? Yeah, we were treating a little bit like that, but um, with the 1,200 in the soft going, he's run 14, so we thought he'd have the stamina. Um, obviously, he had to enjoy the going, but he uh, also had to enjoy a good ride, and it was a superbly rated ride. It, um, that was second to none. Were you expecting him to lead them up today, given that he was box seating last start? Well, I, I told him to jump to lead. I said, but uh, then then make your own rate your own race. I said, if something wants to go past you, they'll have to kick up to go past you. Don't 
don't um, increase the tempo that you're happy with. And uh, it, absolutely superb. Were you nervous in those concluding stages when Probity was just taking a bit of ground off to the line? Well, I think it just, uh, uh, again, killed edged out the way the boy rode it. He um, rated it so well and, uh, yeah, he just hung on, but it was perfect. It really was. Now, what's next for Ain't No Other Man? Is he looking for the paddock yet or is it a case of go around again, find another one for him? No, it, it, he's, only, he's only two and he's won three now, so he's... Uh, a, um, would be looking looking for a looking for a break. He's in great condition, but uh, with so much upsize as three-year-old, um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, couldn't be happier. Well, we'll uh, see if you're a man of your word, or you're like Neville Parnham, who uh, can't quite uh, put, get, gets them out of the paddock for the forty thousand. <laughs> uh, no, we are in the same boat. It's in, it's so tempting when you are getting bonuses um, with health, healthy, fit horses. So, but um, yeah, obviously we'll let the feed bin tell us what spot, but. I would say that uh, we'll, we've got a couple that can fill his stable. All right. Well well done on this one. Thank you. There's Sean Casey there. He says it well. It is so lucrative, the prize money. It's very hard to put them out. Gave massive rap to Lactar Ramalee, and he's with Scott. Oh, why wouldn't he? Brit is becoming very, very popular at the moment. Lucky, uh, talk us through the run there. Was it your intention to lead or just where you ended up being? Uh, just use our gate because sometimes he don't jump. But last time on the 1400, he did jump. And when he jumped, he liked to look uh, around him and then go forward. But today he just jumped good and I just tried to read the speed. What about the last couple of hundred there? At the top of the straight, once you kick clear, it looked like it was going to be a soft win, but that second horse got pretty close. I thought it would have been easy, but the last 50 hundred, I, can, I could feel like someone else is coming on the outside and I had to keep on riding. Best of luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. There's Lactar Ramalee combining with Sean and Jake Casey and Ain't No Other Man wins again after winning two weeks ago, taking out the Mrs Max Plate.